go. Over there and close your eyes. And then I'll say, Congregation, would you please stand? And I'm going to say, It is great joy that I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Chung. No <laughs> Yes. Okay. One ring. Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's gonna be bad news. How do you know you heard him? <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Hey, do the boss bend. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
Practice walking? Yes, I practice walking. But the problem is, my. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let not man separate. Ben, it's the moment you've been waiting for. You may now kiss your lovely bride. Congregation, would you please stand? It is with great joy that I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Chung. But I love you guys and enjoy your new journey. And me and Melissa are ready to see your future nieces and nephews. <laughs> Dude, you're racist. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Justin. I'm Ben's brother. And it occurred to me more and more when I was writing this speech that that's honestly one of the defining characteristics of Ben. And that's uh, thankfulness. And honestly, if you just strike up a random conversation with him, you'll notice that there's always something that he's thankful for. And Rebecca, I know he tells you this all the time. But he tells me and the guys that he's really, really thankful for you. And I recently asked him, Ben, what do you like about Becky? And he just tells me, she's so gracious to me, I don't deserve her. And that really struck a chord with me. Difference in your life and how the Lord has been so faithful. Um, it's it's honestly so amazing to be part of another mosque in your life and to see that rejoice with you and to witness that. And I know that we see this from time to time, and, and I think it really sums up our relationship as brothers. And it's that I'm truly thankful that honestly we're not only brothers by blood, but we're brothers in, in Jesus Christ as well. So I love you, brother. So, if everyone can uh, raise their glasses with me for a toast. Primero, me voy a quejar porque a mí no me avisaron que tenía que dar un speech. So, no tengo nada en mi teléfono. Decía a Becky y yo le digo que sí, que los todos se merecen el uno al otro. Porque he sido Dios, de quien me conoce, uh, como he sido con ellos en diario, tal vez no ha sido una queja con Becky, porque ya cuando estaba pequeña, muchas veces me decía, Dad, I cannot marry you. I don't want to marry no one else, just you. Y esa promesa hoy la ha quebrado, y ha quebrado mi corazón. Pero. Estoy feliz que ha sido con tus sueños y ahora tu esposo. Y pues cuando vengan los nietos también bienvenidos. Y gracias a todos. No, a mí no ahorita, de aquí unos 10 años. Unos 10 años. 
ya cuando ella cumpla 40, que empiecen a planear. You folks will be immediately uh, notice a generation gap. I need a paper and a reading glasses. Reading glasses. <laughs> there are so many different emotions is running through my mind. Yesterday, we had a rehearsal at this venue, and I was fairly calm and stoic, but not tonight. <laughs> not tonight at all. Allow me to elaborate a few things for my son my youngest one. He's been living with us for the last 25 and uh, how many months? <laughs> One month, okay. He did not pay a single dime. <laughs> I'm also thankful that Ben changed my life's perspectives a lot. Let me give you one example. I used to go on so many business trip to Asia, like 50, 60% a month. And one time I come back from the trip and I arrived at home and I see my first son, Chris, and second son, Justin, standing at the gate. And Benjamin, then eight months old, being held in mom's arm. And I approach him to take hold of him and he turned and shied away from me. That was a very traumatic experience, but this Amon son told me something. Don't focus on your professional life too much, but focus on your family value. This little kid taught his old dad something. From that point on, my life changed. <laughs> Secondly, I'm so grateful that Ben has grown the way he did. There are countless instances and occasions, but let me keep it short. He went to New Zealand representing USA in International Taekwondo Federation in his age and weight class. But of course, he got his butt kicked by Paul and Paul. <laughs> I've got a lot to say about Ben from a uh, father's perspective, but let me reserve them for obvious reason. I guess the proper expression, expression is a uh, ha ha lol. <laughs> but, on a, but on a deeper note, what you see about Ben is who he is. I don't need to elaborate anymore. Thoughtful, considerate, extremely intelligent. You may not see that, but you'll see soon. <laughs> very, very humble. Lastly, my primary message that I would like to deliver to you folks is, he has been a better son to me than I have been a better dad to him. And I need to uh, improve on that going forward. Thank you, Ben. Most importantly, though, God had a plan for Ben and Rebecca, a.k.a. Becky. <laughs> ben Chum, Becky Chum. BC, BC. Oh, yeah! Great fit. <laughs> so, what more can I say? I and my wife are just so proud of this guy, our son Benjamin, and grateful for a beautiful and warm-hearted daughter-in-law. I'm just going to say outright, my daughter. And I announce you to you as a father of the groom, Mr. and Mrs. Becky Benjamin Chow. <laughs>
Extremely grateful. It's really a trip. I was just going to you know, say this to some of you guys that have been conversation. It's really a trip to see everybody here. Yeah, uh, last thing I just want to say is that, you know, um, <laughs> for those who weren't tardy, um, we're just, I, I guess, we, we hope and we pray that uh, you guys can just. You know, if you guys don't know Jesus Christ, then you can wholeheartedly consider the message that was said tonight, right, about how marriage, you know, between a man and a wife is a symbol, a shadow of the gospel of Jesus Christ, laying down his life for his God the church, right? So, uh, the gift of salvation that we have in Jesus Christ, God the Father sending his Son to us to die for us in our place, for our sins, that we might repent of our sins and Trust Jesus, Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior is the best gift that anyone could possibly have. An right? eternity of heaven and love and joy and peace with Him. So, um, yeah, thank you guys again for coming. Um, I'm going to pass the mic off. So. Um, así que estamos disfrutando este día y esperamos que um, se queden todavía el postre um, hay, si quieren ser de más bebidas el foro va a estar abierto vamos a tener un poquito de música adentro um, pero si se tienen que ir por favor despedir, uh, nos digan adiós para que podamos vernos una vez más y eso es todo, gracias